Okay, so here's the setup now. I've got the um, stand my type tubes set up in the container. It's pretty well sealed, but there's leaks everywhere. But we won't worry about that too much for now. I'm going to power on with 12 volts. There's 12 volts going. It's drawing something like about 20 amps. Maybe a bit too much um, sodium hydroxide in there. Produces pretty well. Measured it with the HHO meter. It's putting out about a litre in 50 seconds, which isn't bad. In my mind, at least. And here's the torch. We've made up a bit of a torch today. It's got a bit of flashback in there. Um, flashback arrestor. Goes pretty well. Lighter up. Got ignition. So, yeah, it's putting out quite a nice flame. Let's see how it burns. Burning a bit of tin plate, I guess that is. Off a microwave oven. have a fair bit of fun with this thing. Uh, thanks for the ideas, someone from YouTube uh, with the torches there. Good work, they work pretty well. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Adjustable with the um, adjustable there with the um, valve. It's been out quite a good flame. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, yeah, got a fair bit of melting going on. Hoping to do a bit of brazing on the stainless steel tubes with this torch. I think it should do the job quite well. Still not quite figuring out why it hasn't got a blue flame. But, um, it's not really that hot. I don't think it's burning inside the, the MIG tip there, which is tapped into a um, flashback arrestor. It's just got a female to female quarter inch fitting and the tap, plastic barb fitting into there, straight from the straight from the bubbler. These stand my type cells actually show quite a bit of promise. We've tried a few now. We've tried the um, uh, the flat plates with about positive five neutrals and a negative. That was in the car, but unfortunately the, having problems with the uh, Lex and uh, continues to crack up. Don't know what the problem is there. Seems to be an ongoing problem with Lex and doesn't seem to uh, like it. So that's so pretty good. I'm not happy with that. Oh yeah. Yeah, this torch is going to be pretty good for brazing. Pretty good for melting. Oh, what else I can melt? Probably the workbench. No, I don't think we'll do that. Okay, just thought I'd fill you guys in. Let's have a look at the cell. Sounds pretty, pretty bubbly looking. The 12 volts going in, gas coming out, comes around into the bubbler. Bubbler's pretty simple, just an old peanut butter jar. I'd say everything's leaking, gas coming out. Got a bit of a, it's a flow meter, means nothing really. And the torch, yeah, very nice. Okay, well, that's about it for now.
we power off. Have a look how the cell get an idea what's going on in the cell there. Using uh, what have we got there? Those outer tubes are like 33, uh, 32.7 mil or something. The centre one there is uh, next size in is uh, one inch, so it's uh, 25.4 mil. And then the um, three quarter is the next size in, so I don't know what you call that. Three quarter, it's about 19 mil. And the half inch uh, threaded rods form the the negative, you go right through down to the, the bottom's got a perspex uh, or Lexan plate tapped for the for the half inch rods and the top's the same, it's got a perspex or Lexan uh, same sort of thing but it's not tapped, it's got nuts securing that down and it's got a stainless steel uh, ring at the top that conducts um, conducts the negative right around all those threaded rods coming down the middle the outer it's got a couple of band clamps stainless steel band clamps so I've got a stainless steel um, strap coming up from the back of there comes up to the terminal on top yep okay well I'll let you all get on with your own systems. I'm pretty happy with the way that one's working for now. It's just a matter of making up two of them and getting them back into the four-wheel drive and doing some more economy figures. Well, cheers for now.